Information on the Rottweiler dog breed, including facts, traits, pictures, and more. Are you looking to add a sturdy, devoted, and protective dog to your family? The fierce and aggressive personalities of Rottweilers are well known, but this devoted and loving dog is so much more than that. In this article, you'll learn what to expect from a Rottweiler, including what to feed them, how much exercise they need, how to care for them, and more. A member of the working group is the self-assured, devoted Rottweiler. On the American Kennel Club chart, these dependable family protectors are currently ranked number 8. Before continuing with the video, we would like to tell you about our sponsor BullGift.com. On the site, there are special digital drawings, charcoal drawings, and a special oil painting structure, as well as mugs and magnets that you can stick to your cabinet. You can take advantage of the discounts by using the discount code that appears on the screen. Site address and discount code are also in the description. Now let's go back to our so, video. Would a Rottweiler be a suitable pet for your household? And because they are large, strong animals, these dogs can appear intimidating, especially to guests at your house. However, a Rottweiler that has been raised with care and socialized well is assured and even-tempered, brave but not aggressive. The Rottweiler, though occasionally aloof, is actually quite playful and endearing once you get to know him. In light of this, if you decide to adopt a Rottweiler puppy, you should be aware that early socialization is essential to ensuring that your dog develops into an obedient, composed animal. Let's get started and learn more about the Rottweiler. History Because of their well-known loyalty, Rottweilers are among Americans' favorite dogs. The Romans used dogs as herding animals while their legions marched through Europe, and the Rottweiler is a descendant of those dogs. The puppies mated with neighborhood dogs along the way, and in the German town of Rottweil, the offspring were employed by butchers to herd their cattle to the market. They are molosser dogs and have traits in common with many other breeds of dogs, such as bully breeds, mastiffs, elk hounds, and Rhodesian ridgebacks, among others. The Rottweiler protected the butcher by keeping thieves away from his loot. Strong, sturdy rotties were also used to pull delivery carts filled with milk and meat for the butcher's clients. Boar, which are wild pigs with tusks, were hunted with Rottweilers in the Middle Ages. Sadly, the introduction of motorized transportation eliminated the need for the rottie. The Rottweiler almost completely disappeared as a result, but fortunately German dog lovers saved the breed. The Rottweiler gained popularity across Europe as a result of people being impressed by the breed's loyalty and work ethic, even when compared to other canines like the GSD. The Rottie is now a well-known breed both domestically and internationally. In addition to serving as a police dog, service dog, herding dog, obedience contestant, and even a therapy dog, the adaptable modern Rottweiler has worked in a wide range of very different fields. The strong, intelligent Rottie excels in agility training and has flyball skills as well. Rottweilers also make great family dogs, being surprisingly sensitive and eager to please. They do have a tendency toward stubbornness, which occasionally causes people to underestimate their intelligence. Temperament Rottweilers are extremely devoted and submissive puppies, despite their reputation for aggression. The large and stocky Rottweiler is a canine that is almost constantly alert. He is a fantastic choice for a family pet and a fantastic guard dog due to his keen attention to detail and size. They are friendly and affectionate with their human family, but due to their guarding tendencies, they can be more distant with strangers. They are thought to be aggressive, dominant, and territorial, though. The temperament of a Rottweiler reflects its ancestors' instinctive profession of working and guarding. Despite their inherent aggressiveness, they can be taught to behave well around people and other animals. Without proper training, Rottweilers have a propensity for excessive barking and digging, which can harm your house and yard. Due to their protective nature, they also need to be closely watched, especially when around young children or big groups of people. These groups might appear to be a danger to their human family. Dimension and Aesthetics It's a big dog, the Rottweiler. A Rottweiler can reach adulthood standing between 22 and 27 inches tall and weighing between 75 and 110 pounds. 
In general, female Rottweilers are smaller and have lighter bones than males. These enormous dogs have broad chests and hefty bodies. They have distinctive block-shaped heads with square-shaped muzzles that are medium in size and hold floppy ears. Because of their floppy lips, Rottweilers frequently drool, which can add to their intimidating appearance. The majority of purebred Rottweiler puppies have one or two vertebrae removed from their long, powerful tails. Paints and Coats The most distinguishing feature of Rottweilers is their black coats with tan or rust markings. The Rottweiler's markings are always black and range in color from deep mahogany to rust. The dog has these markings on his chest, legs, and the areas around his eyes, on either side of his muzzle, underneath his tail, and on his cheeks. The toes of your Rottie will also have tan lines. The short, double coat of a Rottweiler is straight and coarse. The dog has a medium-length outer coat, but his head, legs, and ears have shorter hairs. The dog's fluffy undercoat is mostly found on his thighs and neck, and the amount and density of it will vary depending on the climate where he lives. The double coat on Rottweilers makes them moderate shedders. Yorati blows his coat twice a year in the spring and fall. That implies that he will shed a lot in order to alter his undercoat according to the seasons. Health Rottweilers share many purebred dogs' genetic health issues, so breeders should be aware of them. If you're thinking about adopting one of these puppies, you should be aware that Rottweilers, like many large dogs, are susceptible to a few health issues. The life expectancy of a healthy Rottweiler is 8 to 10 years. Rottweiler owners should give pet insurance serious consideration due to their numerous health issues. Progressive retinal atrophy, PRA, cataracts, cardiomyopathy, subaortic stenosis, SAS, Von Willebrand's disease, Addison's disease, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, osteochondrosis of the knee, and shoulder. Hip dysplasia, hip dysplasia is a hereditary condition in which the hip joint has conformational issues, ultimately leading to bone degeneration and painful arthritis in the dog. Hip dysplasia may be treated surgically, which is expensive, or it may be treated medically. However, you must always request written confirmation from your puppy's breeder that the animal's parents have been examined and found to be hip dysplastic free. Elbow dysplasia. Elbow dysplasia is a genetic disorder characterized by abnormalities in the many structures that make up the elbow joint, particularly the cartilage and the tissues that surround it. Osteoarthritis eventually sets in at the elbow joint. Osteochondritis, a very common condition that affects growing young dog's joints, osteochondritis is very common. There are regions of thickened cartilage on joint surfaces, the articular cartilage, where bone fails to form. Because of these weak spots, the thickened cartilage separates from the wholesome tissue around it and forms a flap. Osteoarthritis secondary to the original condition can develop when the cartilage flap separates from the joint surface. Dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM, is a condition that causes the heart muscle to enlarge. Most often, one side of the heart is impacted more than the other. The ventricle cannot efficiently pump blood to the body and lungs when it is compromised. Congestive heart failure eventually results from that as fluid builds up in the lungs. The aorta narrows due to subaortic stenosis, which diverts blood away from the heart. Even a young dog can suddenly pass away from the condition, which typically manifests as a slight heart murmur. Von Willebrand's disease, a deficiency in a specific protein that helps the blood clot, is the cause of Von Willebrand's disease, a hereditary condition. The more accurate term for Addison's disease is hypoadrenocorticism. Insufficiency of the adrenal gland's capacity to produce hormones, including steroids, causes the condition. The internal organs and bodily systems of the dog are regulated by steroids. Without the proper ratio of these vital hormones, the canine's body deteriorates, which can cause serious problems and even death. Cataracts, an imperfection or opacity in the eye's lens is known as a cataract. Light is focused by the lens, which needs to be crystal clear. If your dog has a cataract, it will obstruct his vision. Cataracts may be as small as a pinpoint, in which case they are undetectable. However, some cataracts can enlarge to the point where they completely encase the lens, leaving the patient blind. 
You should always request to see the health screening reports for the parents of a Rottweiler puppy's parents from the breeder. As you can see, a Rottweiler's health problems are frequently inherited. It is crucial that you are aware that the parents of your puppy have the required screening clearance. The Canine Eye Registry Foundation's approval is required by the American Rottweiler Club before a Rottweiler can be entered into the Canine Health Information Center Sheet, database. The dog will also require certifications from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, OFA, for elbow and hip evaluations as well as a heart examination certificate. Search the Sheik and OFA websites to see if your puppy's parents are included in the database. Physical Activity and Environment These boisterous pooches require at least an hour of exercise each day to stay in shape. Although Rottweilers are naturally large-framed dogs, if they don't get enough exercise, they can easily gain weight. In addition to having joint issues, an obese Rottweiler may also develop complications like diabetes and heart disease. They encounter the same difficulties as their cousin, the Doberman. Make sure your Roddy gets a few good, long walks and some playtime each day. In light of the fact that the Rottweiler was bred to be a working dog, he will flourish in a household that takes pleasure in outdoor pursuits and walks and hikes frequently. Make sure to look at dog harnesses made for pulling prone Rottweilers if you intend to harness train your Roddy. In addition to making sure your Rottweiler behaves properly when going on outdoor adventures, daily exercise is crucial to keep their weight in check. A Rottweiler could theoretically live outside. The breed is however sensitive to excessive heat, so you should never leave your Roddy outside in hot weather unless he has unlimited access to fresh water and lots of shade to rest in. Due to their size, these puppies' joints may eventually wear out. Purchase a top-notch dog bed that can accommodate a Rottweiler. Keep in mind that you'll probably need a few Roddy Ready dog toys that can withstand their powerful jaws because they are also notorious for being rough on toys. Training Police departments frequently use Rottweilers because they are very trainable. Given a structured training program, Rottweilers' high intelligence makes them excellent training candidates. Roddies are calm, loving dogs despite their intimidating appearance. However, it is crucial to socialize and train Roddy puppies from a young age. Finding a crate that fits a Rottweiler's size is advised if you intend to crate train your dog. Purchase one that will serve you well from puppyhood to adulthood. Nutrition The best kibble for your Roddy is premium kibble with lots of protein. Always choose high-quality commercial food with meat as its primary ingredient when choosing a food for your Rottweiler. Avoid foods that are high in grain, meat meal, and byproducts because your dog won't get enough of the essential nutrients he needs from them. Puppies in their early stages should ideally be fed several times per day. After your puppy reaches the age of six months, you can cut back on feedings to twice daily. It's crucial that you don't overfeed your Roddy because big, heavy meals could result in the serious digestive disorder known as bloat in your dog. It's a smart idea to ask your puppy's breeder for advice on the best food to feed your newest member of the family. Ask your veterinarian for suggestions if you're unsure of what to feed your adult Rottweiler. Grooming When it comes to maintenance, Rottweilers require little care. Typically, you should brush your Rottweiler once a week with a hound mitt or a soft bristle brush. Your dog's skin and coat will remain healthy as a result. To remove all of your dog's loose hair during periods of heavy shedding, brush him every day. Only bathe your Rottweiler if the weather is warm enough for you to feel comfortable in short sleeves. Rotties can feel the cold if they get wet, despite their tough exterior. Breeders and Puppy Prices your purebred Rottweiler should cost between $850 and $4,000. The ARC requires breeders who advertise on their website to follow a number of obligatory procedures, which include screening all breeding stock for hereditary diseases. Additionally, ARC registered breeders are required to give prospective puppy buyers a written guarantee that they will take the dog back if the owner is unable to care for him. You should look for either University of Pennsylvania, Penhip, or Orthopedic Foundation for Animals Clearance when examining a hip dysplasia health screening certification, OFA. Additionally, the Canine Eye Registration Foundation should have performed an annual eye examination on the dogs and cleared them for elbow dysplasia, SURF. 
Last but not least, the ARC insists on getting a breeding dog's cardiac health cleared. The dogs of good breeders are frequently tested for thyroid issues as well as Von Willebrand's disease. Additionally, some breeders go above and beyond by getting their dogs certified by the American Temperament Test Society, ATT. Several variables affect the cost of a Rottweiler puppy, including your geographic location, the puppy's gender, the parent's show ring accomplishments, and whether the puppy was bred as a pet or a show dog are all relevant factors. A well-bred puppy can typically be purchased from a reputable dealer for anywhere between $850 and $4,000 on average. Puppy farms and mills exist solely for the purpose of mass-producing puppies at a low cost. Breeders frequently fail to have their breeding animals health screened and keep the dogs in appalling, unsanitary conditions in order to reduce costs. Puppies that are ill or diseased are frequently sold to unwary buyers who later regret their decision when the puppy becomes gravely ill soon after moving into his new home. Furthermore, you should be aware that many pet shops purchase their puppies from puppy mills. Refuges and Rescue If you adopt a Roddy from a shelter, you will make it very happy. Consider adopting an adult Rottweiler from a rescue facility or shelter if you don't want to put in the effort of training a puppy. Check out the Rottweiler Rescue Foundation's website if you do. A very useful website where you might find your perfect canine companion for life is Petfinder. When bringing a dog home from a shelter, however, exercise caution because these puppies frequently have no previous owners. As a result, you won't be able to tell whether the Rottie you've fallen in love with has a trustworthy temperament or if there are any inherited medical conditions. Potential adopters may borrow a dog from some shelters for a brief trial period. That's a great idea for the dog and his potential new owners because you can always return the dog if you don't get along. Because of their loyalty, Rottweilers have excelled in the designer dog craze that has swept the country. The following list includes some of the more well-known mixed-breed Rottweiler puppies that you might be able to find in a shelter. The Rotsky, the Pitbull Rottweiler Mix, the GSD Rottie Mix, the Rottweiler Labrador Retriever Mix, and the Border Rottie. As domestic pets. So, given what you now know about the Rottweiler, would this magnificent, robust breed make the perfect best friend for your home? Let's quickly review what you have discovered so far about the breed. The Rottweiler is not the dog for you if you reside in a small apartment. These are big dogs, so they require a lot of room, ideally with a large backyard for them to play in. Despite having a short coat, the Rottweiler has a double coat, which means your dog will shed occasionally throughout the year, with two periods of heavier shedding in the spring and fall. Be ready to spend some time grooming your Roddy, especially if he is blowing his coat. Despite their rather fierce appearance, Rottweilers are typically very gentle and placid dogs. However, because they constantly shed, one of these puppies wouldn't be suitable for someone who has a pet hair allergy. Although a gentle prod from one of these dogs would send a young child sprawling, Rotties get along just fine with kids and other animals. A Rottweiler could be a great choice if you're looking for a dog to protect your family and your property. Working dogs include the Rottweiler. You must make sure he gets plenty of playtime and exercise because of this. A Roddy might be the ideal companion for someone who leads an active outdoor lifestyle that includes frequent walking and hiking. I doubt a Rottweiler would like living outside. First of all, because these are sensitive dogs that develop strong attachments to their human families, if you isolate your dog, he might experience separation anxiety. Second, because the Roddy is so heat sensitive, it should not be left outside in hot weather. A Rottweiler would be a good pet for you if you have a lot of space and lead an active lifestyle, to put it briefly. If you take the time to socialize your Roddy properly as a puppy, he will play with your children and other pets with no problem. Final Remarks If you live in a big house with a garden and enough space for a big dog, you might be interested in getting a Rottweiler. Although they sometimes have a fierce appearance, Rotties tend to be big softies at heart. They make loving and devoted family pets that get along well with children and other animals. If your family is active and enjoys going on hikes or walks, a Rottweiler would be the ideal pet for you. 
Because of their high trainability, Rotties do well in a variety of canine sports, including agility, obedience, and even flyball. For your Rottweiler, choose the ideal name. Rottweilers have a double coat despite having a short hair coat, and they do shit occasionally throughout the year. That might cause problems for the family members who have allergies. If you decide to adopt a Rottweiler, be sure to ask the breeder to provide you with copies of the health records for the puppy's parents, as these dogs are susceptible to a number of congenital illnesses. Mm -hmm.